All right, guys, girls, welcome back to a new video of me talking about rambling and about anime. It has been quite a long time, and not much has changed with me. I still do it at the way I do it, just pretty casual and weird, but whatever. I love talking about it this way, and that's just how I roll. So, as you can see with the title and everything going on, you know I want to talk about Kimetsu no Yaiba, and it's been a while since I've been talking about anime or reviewing anything or talking about it in a sense, uh, looking for things. But this episode, and I've been waiting for a long time, of course, but this episode really was one where it was like, yeah, I really need to do it now before it ends because I'm in love with this stuff. And if the anime doesn't come out, I want to continue with the manga. So it's one of those, I don't know if it's still going, but I want to keep reading it, going into it. Uh, some things you just get spoiled when you're watching the wikia with names and brands and everything. But <coughs> let's just get into this episode. So it's it's been a pretty half, really weird ep episode because... Just with the end of everything, uh, we got a bit of the backstory of, well, I don't know the name of the demon anymore, but I don't think I can find it that quickly. No, but don't know his name anymore. But I think it was the fifth ranked um, of the of those high class demons. But he died. A little bit of a backstory with his father and mother and how he thought in himself that at first they were just out kill him but actually his father was probably gonna kill himself afterward after he would kill his son and uh, probably his wife also but because just because he was so sick and everything so it had a bit of a this sad sentimental of course you know all that Tanjiro is this person that just he oh he just I don't know smells it I guess but he just it feels those stuff and he just feels it right and I think it's true when he said stuff about how the demons are just also tormented uh, beings and when they were humans of course they were happy but the state they are in right now is most of the time is not where they are in a happy place they are not happy to be demons and they are not happy to have to go through all this stuff uh, we, we could see with this one demon that he killed and he used a special technique to soften the pain and he, he, he was like yeah he saw that moment in her eyes where she was longing to be dead and not have to go through all this stuff which is pretty sad of course and he uh, the little guy with with his family and all that stuff and wanted to feel this bond and connection and just this hand that Tanjiro puts on him makes a whole lot of difference which is pretty amazing and cool so the other thing I want to talk about, of course, is when uh, Gyu comes in to, of course, uh, crumple on the body, which Tanjiro is not really happy about speaking about that, of course. But then out of nowhere, not really nowhere, let's, let's say not really nowhere, uh, I got a name here, Shinobu Kocho. Probably say it wrong. But she comes in and uh, wants to kill his sister, of course, uh, because... Well, she's a demon. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, with that being said, it makes sense that uh, she she goes after it. But luckily, Gyu protects him uh, because he knows, like, he remembers that a couple of years ago, he saw him and remembered all this stuff. Tries to save him. Uh, well, of course, uh, let me get her name straight. Shinobu. Shinobu. Uh, no, Shinobu. Shinobu wants to go after a sister, and uh, well, she gets, of course, a bit of help from Kanoa, who is. Uh, at first, I thought something had to do with a power or something, but they look so similar that it just was like, wait, a double? But it isn't. It's a Kanoa, the girl from also the exam with everybody, Zenitsu, Inosuke, and all the guys. So was pretty cool to see her coming back. Um, then again, uh, the crows uh, is crying and saying like, oh, they need to be captured and brought back to headquarters. Which 
probably save them because, well, otherwise uh, they were going to be, not well, not him, but his sister was going to be killed and that's not very helpful, of course. And then, then it's because I, uh, <laughs> I spoiled it a bit for myself, I knew that. But, I don't know how it was called in the anime, but the translation, but here on the wiki it's called the pillars. There are the nine pillars, the nine most potent, as it's here being said, hunters, swordmen, demonantists. So, well, Tanjiro is asleep and he's brought back and he's been waking up and he's like, come on, wake up. Somebody wakes him up and he's like, well, where am I? And he's like, oh. We're here waiting for you. We want to see you probably. And that's so cool. Because I've seen it before I, s I read it a little bit. And I saw that. I was like, oh, that's so cool. They are so strong. The strongest, of course, of the dragons, demon slayers. So that's pretty interesting. And I was like, <clears throat> if if when we going to meet them? And I would suggest out of nowhere a bit. A little surprise that we meet them. But yeah, that's pretty excited. I'm excited about it. I want to read the manga and see where it goes. I want to see how long it can continue and if there's... I don't know if there's a possibility for next season. To be honest, I I love it. And I know more people are in love with this anime. And are enjoying it pretty much. So, I have high hopes for that. But I don't know with the manga. I want to read it, keep it up. And maybe also check it out and see if there are other animes or mangas that I want to catch up with again because I've to be honest have been stuck uh, not reading not doing a couple other things in life oh it gets busy and you, you just after a while it gets so hard to catch up and you're like 10 chapters behind and 20 chapters behind and, every, and after a while you don't even know where you are with like I don't know Hero Academy um, it's just like I don't even know where to start anymore it's pretty sad but Still love anime and manga and I want to catch it up with. <clears throat> That's all I say and we'll be still in this style weird as heck and not really like following anything. Just rambling. I know there are way better ways to do stuff like this but they're not my way and I just enjoy this. Hope you too and if you want to let me know just something in the comments behind what you think about this anime, this episode. Anything else you want to say and subscribe. Well, click the bell button if you want to. It would be amazing. And you can stay up to date with new videos I will be making. Thank you so much. And hope we'll see you next time. Goodbye.